celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. If you witness what the Lord did yesterday on this ground, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus if you were part of the testimonies of yesterday. Today, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus if you see the mighty move of God yesterday. Just celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus if you are expecting more of God tonight. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. The Bible speaking said that better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. The Bible speaking said that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. What is starting with us is about to accomplish it tonight. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. The God we are calling upon is a consuming fire. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. He's a mighty God. The one that owns the heavens and the earth. The Bible speaking said that the thousand candles upon the thousand years belongs to God. God is here. God is there at the same time. That's why he's called Jehovah Shammah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate this consuming fire, the God of fire. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is Shout consuming fire! Shout consuming fire! Consuming fire! Tonight, whatever is not giving God glory in your life, He will consume them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I told us God has come to set fire in our lives. Amen. Two things God is doing in this season is fire of separation Amen. to separate us from whatever is not working well yes, sir. and God is giving us fire for connection Amen. connecting us to high places of life Amen. if somebody is hearing me shout the loudest hallelujah. hallelujah God bless us in Jesus name Amen. if you want to see more of God that's something you are expected to do, and that is to praise him, to thank him, to thank him. We saw a lot of testimonies yesterday, how depression check out and they find their levels, how God did wonders through worship and praises, and through the ministration of our Papa on this stage, we saw the mighty move of God. And God is saying that he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above what we can think or imagine tonight. And we shall be praising him, thanking him for what he said to do. And we are taking the Thanksgiving prayers from the book of Psalm 106, verse 1 to 2. And the Bible says, Praise ye the Lord, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercies endure forever. Amen. Who can alter the mighty act of the Lord? Who can alter the mighty act? Who can tell it all? All that the Lord has started to do in our lives. Who can explain the move of God in today's gathering? Who can say all oh, the Lord has done because it is beyond human explanation. I want us to lift up our hands. Say with me, Father. Father we thank you we thank for you. all the testimonies all the of yesterday, gathering. Thank you in today's service. Thank God the glory. Somebody begin to thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for the testimonies of yesterday. Into this garden, take all the glory that I am, that I am, the invisible God, the invisible God, the unchangeable God, the creator of the whole universe. You are the mountain mover, you are the rock breaker, you are the pathfinder, you are the way maker. Is somebody thanking him? Lekaya bala 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 bala. He is able to do. Lekaya bala 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 bala. Bala bala bala. Ela bala 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 bala. Oh shagala. Thank you, Lord. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus, the most powerful name, we give thanks. Somebody shout the loudest, Hallelujah. Jesus a 
shout of praise. Hallelujah. On this mountain where everything that is not of God will be born down. Can you give God a shout? Hallelujah. Now we should be rising again to pray according to God's word in 1 Kings 18, verse 38 to 39. The Bible said, Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice. The wood and the stones, the dust and leak of the water that was in the trench. Verse 39 said, And when all the people saw it, they fell on their face and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord is the God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We rise to pray according to God's word this evening and say, Father, Father, we demand, we demand. Jesus. Amen. Before we take this prayer, I want to tell Lord that what God can do, devil can imitate. Yes. And whatever is imitated from the original is called imitation. I'm going to show you from the scripture. And that is why if it is not from God, it is not from God. Yes. And whatever is not of God that is finding his express in our life, tonight the fire of God will consume them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me hear your better. Amen. 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 Listen to this Topic from Revelation chapter 13, verse 13. This is what the Bible says. And he doeth great wonders. That is Satan is talking about, the devil. He doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. He make he do a great wonder so that he tried to imitate God in the death of Elijah. The Bible said, God sent down fire from heaven consume the sacrifice and put the enemies into shame and after that the worshippers of Baal were killed so in the last days the bible says that the dragon which is called satan do a great wonders try to imitate god and the bible says to the extent that he make fire to come down and people will say if fire come, the only person that can do this the only man that can make have fire to come down is God, but devil is trying to imitate 
created God. And that is why as children of God in this end time, we need to be sensitive. If it is not fire from God, it will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. When God sent Moses to Egypt, the Bible said God gave Moses a rod. And when Moses cast down his rod, the Bible said the rod of Moses turned to serpent. Egyptians said this is just a small thing. We are used to this. They cast their own rod. The Bible says it turned to serpent. But the difference is that the rod of serpent, the rod of Moses, which turned to serpent, began to swallow that of yes, Egyptians. Sir, yes, sir, so yes, sir, whatever yes, is not of God in our lives, that the reason of this ongoing program, the rod of God, Swallow them up in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And that is, this is how you are going to channel your prayer tonight. Father, let your fire, by the reason of this two days crusade, quench every evil fire that have been burning in my life. Every evil fire that enemy has kindled or rekindled. Every evil fire that enemy has set in my family. Every evil fire that is in my father's house in my mother's house it's very dangerous and i pray that after you pray this prayer you will know that indeed the consuming fire has taken over your life <laughs> lift up your right hand with me say father ah, let your fire let your by the reason of this two days crusade quench every evil fire that is burning in my life in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray let the fire of god by the reason of this two days crusade quench 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 every evil fire that is burning in my life every evil fire that is burning in my life the most powerful name we worship. Celebrate Jesus with the clapping of friends. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody want me to tell him or uh, tell her to clap. Clap. Because when you clap, something bigger than clapping. More sorry, physically, even not that. Anywhere you're going to find yourself. Throw out everything about you this year. You're hear me and hear me for good. What am I saying? They know you know and they know I know. What am I saying? Celebrate God. I have been telling you several. If you learn to celebrate God in everything, bigger thing, powerful thing, greater thing, more than clapping. Must only come to your doorstep. If you are hearing me, you have no to power to have my shantaraba. God is about to bless somebody. I say God is about to visit somebody. Amen. Listen to me very well. I'm not here to preach. I'm here to tell you something that you need to know. If you listen or if you know the animal they call a deer, capital B double E R. When that animal says a water somewhere, the animal start to celebrate. Don't see water. He has not drank the water. He celebrate. He level all the ground for what the water. Before he drink the water, he celebrate. He celebrate because something he has been testing for is about to be given to him something god is about to, oh my god somebody not hearing me now if you are hearing me celebrate god with a powerful prayer and now one of us god is about to lift somebody up i say god is about to visit somebody hey, please want to read here in revelation in our uncle prayer i say we say father let your fire from the mouth of god from the mouth of your servant you know the person i'm talking about the servant of this commission apostle Oti, yeah. take the fire from his mouth oh my god as he began to minister 
snake the fire kill. Oh my God. Brother, whether you believe it or not, every human being born of a woman has an enemy. This enemy eating your pepper, eating your soul, eating your maggi. It can be anybody. I don't try to know. Everybody is a suspect. As long as he's the person is created by human being. Hear me, hear me, and for good. I want you to open your mouth and say, Father! Oh, oh, the way you are shouting your father, it seems as if your father is far away. Somebody declare, Father! of our faith according to his word in Act 2 verse 2 to 3. Bible speaking in Act of Apostles chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 said, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3. And they appeared unto them closed tongues like a fire and sat upon each of them. Today upon this mountain we go home with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please repeat after me, Father. Father. Give everyone on ground here. Give everyone on ground. Holy Ghost experience. Holy Ghost experience. Tonight, crusade. Let it be. Let it be. On you, drum miracles. You drum miracles. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Give everyone here. And Holy Ghost experience. My father, Oh, my God. 
Testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to believe that we're not being affected or influenced by the cold weather. Very shortly, if you're here yesterday, you know what we're about to experience right now. Heavens is about to come down because God's servant and minister of the gospel of Jesus is in the house. He's ready to bless us once again. And I want all of us, every one of us, to be upstanding, to be cheerful, to be ready to worship this great God as heaven is about to come down. Make welcome with a clap offering to God Almighty, our guest artist in the house. He's no other one but the gospel minister that has made Christmas in an aquarium very proud nationally and internationally. You all know him. He's one of us. Minister promise if you. Brother, if you're in the house. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrating Jesus. Is somebody ready to worship God this evening? Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us are happy to be in the presence of God? Let me see your hands. Just in the next one minute, just say something sweet. Just let's bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Let's bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah.
all the hands of your enemies. Hallelujah. Today was awesome again. Just like yesterday, our believing God for more and more testimonies. Even more than yesterday. Hallelujah. It is our testimony time. Can I hear somebody to overcome us time? It is our testimony time. Hallelujah. The scripture speaking in the book of Revelation chapter 11, a very popular scripture. It says, And they overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies, and they loved not their lives even to death. Hallelujah. I want to believe that we have a testifier in the house. I don't want to emphasize on this. You have a testimony. Just rush to the altar area very quickly. Let me tell us one thing. If God is not ashamed to bless you, do not be ashamed to testify to the goodness of God. God is not ashamed to bless you. I mean, in all our fallibilities and all our, you know, God see bless or is not ashamed. So you too, you too should not be ashamed to testify to his goodness. I want to see more people in front here. If during yesterday's, of, uh, the first day of the crusade, God touched you in a very special way, maybe a healing, maybe anything that is worth thanking God for, just come and tell him thank you. Like I always say, this testimony belongs to God. That's all he needs from us. Just come and say, Father, we thank you. The miracle is yours. If you do not thank him, you can as well miss your miracle. I want to see more people fighting out. I know that God has done a whole lot. People of God, clap for these testifiers. Clap, 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 clap. I want to see more people running out here. Continue to clap. Continue to clap. The better you clap, the faster. And please do not also forget that today is that special day that God's servant, the set man, is going to bless water for everyone here present and even those by the road if you can collect by faith. And if you have had a testimony via this anointed water in this commission, even if you're watching online, you can come forward too to testify if you have in any way. I have heard a whole lot of testimonies in this commission about the anointed water. Do not keep that testimony. I repeat. The testimony is of the Lord. It belongs to God. The miracle is your own. If you do not give God the thanks, you might as well miss your miracle. So if God has done something for you, via the anointed water, he has done similarly for me, please rush out here and file out here for your testimony. Hallelujah. We'll be waiting for you as you come, as we start with first person. God bless you. People of God, celebrate Jesus for this beautiful sister. Your name and what God has done for you. God bless you. Just praise the Lord. I've come to return all glory to the God of this commission. Indeed, he's so faithful. Yesterday, crusade, I want to beg you that I'm the one that God has blessed. God has just singled me out, out of every misery, out of every trouble, out of every pain, out of every frustration. He has made me a conqueror. He has made me a victor. I've come to say, Lord, thank you. Yesterday, God gave me an encounter, and this encounter goes this way. In encounter, I saw myself with brethren, but I didn't know the church I were, but I was where they were praising God, and in the midst of that praise, I fell, and when I fell, my clothes were dirty, and they brought a new remnant for me to change, and in that dream, I changed into another fine remnant that was more better than what I was putting on. I've come to return all glory to God of this commission because I know that change of garment is permanent. I have changed. God has changed me. I know it is permanent in the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, sister, congratulations. Your change of story has come. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Praise Master Jesus. I'm here to judge God's faithful. God has been so awesome. Being a member of what I am is a great privilege. It's a great great privilege. I joined this commission by the God leading from a brother. I'm here to judge God's faithful that ever since I've joined this commission, I've been experiencing favor in every side. I'm here to judge God's faithful for the blessed water. In half a day, I was down very strong in health. I took the blessed water and ever since then, I've been receiving unusual strength. Praise Master Jesus. I'm here to thank God for the divine health and intervention in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I'm here to say, Father, thank you for divine healing, protection, and salvation of my soul. Over two weeks now, I've been very strong. I won't use the word down. 
because it is only the devil that is down. I've been so strong that even if I try to recover, I'll recover like today, tomorrow I'll break down. It has been consistent for two weeks. Yesterday when I came back from work, I had to go home first. I couldn't stand, I was feeling so weak, both in my spirit and in the physical. And I said to myself that the enemy is trying to deprive me of my blessing. As soon as I stepped my foot on this crusade ground, since yesterday up to this moment, the things I could not do for the past two weeks, I've been doing it without putting any effort with ease. And I'm here to say, Father, thank you. Most people say, are you really sure you, you know what you are doing? I say, I am strong. Anytime I find myself in the midst of brethren, there is this supernatural strength that God gives to me. And I'm here to say, Father, thank you. And another testimony I have is about the blessed water. So I'm, a month ago, the apostle blessed water and then gave to me. It's in a small uh, container. In my office, every morning when I go to work, I close everywhere. But I always find out that beds do pull around the office, both in my table, on my boss's table. I'll be wondering, why does this thing pass through to enter this office? And in one of those days, as soon as I opened, it was on a weekend, then on a Monday I went to work. As I opened the door, I saw the bed. How did you get in? It could not, it could not fly out. And I was scared. I had to run out, open the door and then run out. It now came out. I brought out my water the following day to the office. I sprinkled and I prayed. I said, wherever you are coming from, I don't know where you, whether you were sent by someone or whether you are monitoring spirits in this office. But as I sprinkled this blessed water, I will never see your she, neither will I see your presence around here. And since that day, it's almost two months now, I have not seen any sheet or pool of a bread, neither have I seen any sign. I'm here to say, Father, thank you for this privilege again you have granted us to receive another wonderful blessing because it's like my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. Anywhere I go to, I take it. And when I take it, it builds my new system. People ask me, I've been as why have you not broken down since you took it? I say the God that is inside of me, the water that has been blessed has been an immunizer to my soul. And I'm here to say, Father, thank you for another privilege. Uh, congratulations. I am a week. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Madam, I may witness your divine strength. I can see you dancing very vigorously with a big tummy. To God be the glory, hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the last crusade we had. A day to, okay, the, the first of the crusade I was unable to attend, but I came in the morning and cleaned the chairs. The evening of that crusade, okay, the next morning, I found myself urinating a green color urine. I was so sad, I told my brother, told me, as far as I did not see that it's not in God's word, you don't have it. So the apostle blessed the water for us that day, and I took the water since that day, I have not seen such in my life again. And yesterday, I went to school, on Sunday, the apostle had shared with us a remnant he got from the word, that he that heareth my father, he heareth me. And also, also combined it with, I'm a God. For some time, I discovered a mistake of my statement of results. I never the result read 2019 I left school, but the mobilization officer refused to change it, refused to change the one on the NYC portal to 2019. He used 2021. And I've been disturbing him for some days, for some weeks. He would tell me, Glory, you are to leave, use 2021. I said, So that was not what I left school. That was not the year I left school. So when I went with that Rema on Monday to school, I entered the director of academic affairs with that boldness that he that hearing my father heard me. So I, I spoke with the director of academic affairs. He was, he was in my favor. When the original officer came, they always scold me. When I greeted him, the man melted. He told me, glory my daughter. How I said, sir, I'm fine. So I need to change this thing. And actually, he got my parents of uh, my, my details and went straight to the NYC portal to effect the change. I will tell God, thank you for that remand he gave to me. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Doesn't seem like we're excited to hear all these mind blowing testimonies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for being in the sanctuary this evening and not in the motion. Just yesterday when I came, and before now, I went to see Rabana doctor to get some things, a friend, and I saw the flyer and I said, No, I must attend this function. 
Because yesterday when I came with my Bible after the congregational prayers, I was like, oh, wait to the house. I said, no, if I go, I'm not. My Bible was like soaked. And I told God, no, I need a firm weather in this program that I'm here. I was just interceding. So I came here with pens that yesterday, CPA pen, I could not even pen. I could not even, you know, I was, in fact, you need to see the way the pen was. I could not even pen, I could not even do anything. But I have come here to judge God faithful. I have come just like one leper this evening to thank God. Thank you for his perfect healing. May his name be praised. Congratulations, man. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Officer, fast, fast, walk like an officer now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yesterday was a very wonderful thing in my life. Yesterday, I was very, very sick. I thought that malaria would disturb me. Very, yesterday, I woke up early in the morning. I was very, I feel very, very sick. I can't want to wake up. Oh. I said, now, I was in God. For these two episodes I've been to the two, two days in Amir Junction, I'm going to be held. So yesterday, when I came to church yesterday, when the apostle was praying, he mentioned of malaria. You look and see something move from my body. I, I did not feel the symptom of malaria again. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And yes, come on with me. Yesterday, our uh, was praying us for the past last month has not paid allowance. When the apostle mentioned get it allowed tomorrow morning any morning. To that morning, it says it was called upon to make our allowance. Let his name be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Do not forget it, brother, with the allowance. God bless you. Sister, fast, fast. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. Yesterday I was here. I was invited by Brother Martins. So when he invited me, I said, okay, I'm going to come. I'm not going to disappoint him. So when I came here that yesterday, I was like, ah, what is going on here now? Well, I really know that it's a crusade. So I was very, very much happy. But when I left here, well, I was so, so I was so, so excited. So getting home now, in my dream, I had a dream. Uh, I was in my dad's house. So I was there praying, praying inside my mom's room. So as I was praying now, I heard three, I heard a voice in our parlor. So the voice was singing, singing, singing. At the point, they started knocking. When I opened the door, I saw three children. They look like children, but they are not children. So they enter inside. I said, I told them, I said, uh -uh, what happened? I was a kind of a little bit afraid, but they said I should not be. So when they enter, they said that they are sent by OTG. I said, uh -huh. I said, okay, let them come in. One inside was having a white beard, but they are not children, but they look like children. So they said they are sent by OTG, and it's God that sent them to come. They said that yeah, I have a very big problem, that they want to come and pray with me, that God sent them. I said, okay. So we started praying. At first, we were singing. Well, we, we sang a very good song, and they started praying. We started praying, praying, praying in that dream. At the point, they bring us something like said, showing me the past things that, that have happened. And at that point, I don't even know when I woke up. So I woke up so excited this morning. I said that today I'm not going to miss today program. Praise God. So congratulations. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Amen. Koyoyo. Eye na basi ni semi. Ami ke tu an semi. Eye na basi e mnyoba. Suto i ba ye diyo. Eli te me bileko. Jesus. Yeah. 
and they have taken another crusade down to this place. I tried to move down from this particular point to the other point there. I was not being able to, but I hung somewhere with the other tree, that tree there. I was watching. I said, God, if you are the only one controlling this crusade, let it, this rain not fall as supposed to be. But I was finding out that the rain could not fail. Today, even before they now brought everything down to this place, I was there. I said, let me find out if truly God is here in this mount. Rain was still drizzling, but I find out that when they took some things and start arranging things, the altars were cleaning chairs, I find out that the rain stopped. I said, God, you are one person. That is why I say, and I have that courage to move down to this place that has never happened before. I said, God, you are wonderful. So I have the reason to say, God, thank you for what you have done. And let this effort be continue in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, we've come to the right place. You're welcome. God bless you. So God be all the glory. Everybody say amen. 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 Praise God. My name is Vicky. I've come to thank God for his faithfulness. God has been so kind to me. Some months ago, that was the month of February, after the death of my younger brother, the devil struck me with the pins on my left shoulder. I couldn't move, I couldn't bend. Even to take my bath to the kids. I prayed, fasted, I grew up, I could do. That's no avail. I told my aunt, she was like, pray because your brother just died. So I started praying, I prayed, I even disclosed it to one of my brothers here. So the last crusade that was held on this ground, I came and I was still praying that God opened the eyes of my father in the, in the Lord, Apostle T.J. He saw me that somebody came here with a pain on, on her right shoulder. I came out. He prayed for me. I went home. The team persisted. It was still telling me. I was like, God, Apostle have prayed for me. I've left everything for you. But I've come to thank God because I, that same week, God healed me. I've never felt any pains again. I've come to thank God because I was healed on this ground. And I kept the testimony that I will still return on this ground to testify to the glory of God. And also, last week, Wednesday, I came to Wednesday service. I came late. So Apostle did a very a very wonderful ministration, like he ministered to people. And he was like, this is pre and um, pre-crusade encounter. So right where I was seated, Apostle called me. I was having pains on my eyes. The enemy afflicted me with pains. So he called me. He prayed for me. I received the prayers and I left. So the pain still continued, even when I went to my sister's house the next day. She was like, ah, Apostle prayed for you. You said, Apostle said that you are, you are using lens. That thing is not lens. Now what are you doing? I said, leave me. He said, if people will not kill Apostle. I've got to thank God because that thing she said, like it triggers the testimony. Ever since that day, the pain, the swelling, everything left. I just want to thank God for everything he has done for me. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. And I've come to thank God for connecting me to this commission. May the name of Almighty God and the God of Apostle God TJ be praised forever in Jesus' name. Say big amen. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the God of OTJ, according to our sister, the God of Apostle Lomot, Pastor Talk by Joseph. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, brother. Praise the Lord. I get to thank God for what God has done for me today. This is my first time to come in here. If I give my testimony, I will sing a song. Amen. She make Amen. She die. Amen. I want to thank God for what 
God has done in my life today. And nothing God done in my life is wonderful. And I believe that God will do for somebody today in Jesus' name. Listen, in where I'm walking, in my family, in everywhere, people call me a pastor. But I used to, I am a, a sinner. I used to drink, I used to smoke. But people call me a sinner. People call me a pastor. Even everywhere, people used to call me a pastor, even in my company. But today, the first sister that sing a song today say, follow me, come to crusade. I said, I don't want to go there. A two of them were dragging me to come here. But what I am telling you today is that there is a light. When I came into this place, when the program started, I get the light. And when the light enters inside of my spirit, it's like something is burning. And when the light is burning, I cannot resist the light because the light is so good of mine. And I am saying that the wound that will be inside cannot reject your power because your power is greater than mine. And that is why I am standing up the whole God and saying, the God that do this, the awesome God that bring the revival in the land was corrupted. Who am I to receive the light? And I start to say, God, you are worthy. Because if I didn't have another thing that I today, I am rejoicing in the spirit because something is inside the spirit. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai. You have done it again. Continue doing it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, listen. It doesn't seem like we understand what our brother just said. You don't understand. A light. You don't know what he came with. You know young men. You, you don't know what they get involved in. But he felt something stronger than what he's involved in. And he's testifying. And so boy, just sitting there and just watching. To me, that's my greatest testimony. It's my greatest testimony. It's my greatest testimony. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for proving yourself mighty. For every other life is a small life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I came, I'm here this evening to thank God for, for keeping me alive. The Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You can see I was the last person that came out. I didn't want to come out. I wanted to share this testimony in the sanctuary. But something pulled me out and said I should go and give this testimony. Let me not take much of your time. This thing happened on, on Thursday night. I prayed. I had a, a leading to pray for Apostle. I used to pray for him before, but that day, very day was extraordinary. I took that prayer before 12 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. After that, I went to bed. And you know, this is holiday. I don't wake up like before. I decided to enjoy my sleep. Amen. Amen. Till about, I don't know the time. What I saw was something else. The enemy came to kill me in my house. Amen. I was there. I saw in that vision, because I call it a vision, it was already, they had already broken. I saw one of my neighbors who we are just talking. He was telling me some of the things he's been going through. And in that scene, the next thing I saw something like a rock. You know Jesus sat on a rock, isn't it? I sat on that rock and one thing I saw again, I saw two heavy dogs. The first one came in a lion form, a lion shape. And came and physical I have phobia for dogs I don't want to run that is how I behave in the physical and that one came and stood by my side and another one came fair like a human being that is human when you are fair you know human co uh, complexion when you are fair that was how that God I thought dog was I came and stand by this other side 
So inside me, I was thinking, what would I do to this dog? And that my neighbor was looking, is a man, he was looking for something to harm them, unknown to me, because my neighbor was behind me. And what I, I heard, I heard brethren, dog talk, dog spoke, amen. I heard a, a female voice inside a dog. The dog said to my neighbor, now you won't fight for Ram. Ah. Within me, I said, ah, this is a human being, so. So inside me, I became angry. And you know how dream is. Before I knew it, it looked as if I was still lying down in my house. And that one that said, now you won't fight for Ram, climbed on my chest. I became angry. I said, Jesus. I was getting weak. I said, Jesus. As soon as I said, Jesus, he flee. And I woke up. I checked my time. It was 10 minutes to 8 a.m. I said, eh, so these people too, they all prayed for this kind of time. Praise the Lord. And brethren, I woke up. I prayed. I was very angry. I said, in my own house, I finished the prayers. After it, about Five minutes later, I took my Bible to study. As I was studying my Bible, this is a life, a true life story. I was studying my Bible, I was hearing my heart. My heart was beating. I heard the sound of my, my heart beating, gig, 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 gig. I have not heard it before. I continued, I ignored it. I kept studying my Bible. There is power in the Word of God, amen. As I kept studying the Bible, that thing left, it stopped, but it did not go completely. After some, you know, that people don't fear, it does not rest. After like 30 minutes, my heart, when I climb staircase, I will see myself panting like a pregnant woman. I say, God, what is the meaning of this? I say, God, I only pray for your servant though, and I've been praying that before, I can know that you, you have to rescue me. Brethren, the thing continued. We have come this hour to thank God because I was not here yesterday. But I came today. Things I cannot do since that day to today. I decided to dance like never before. I was not, I'm not mad though. When you see me dancing, I did not come here to show. I decided to dance like never before. And I discovered that my heart refused to beat. Like never, like like before. God healed me now, and I hear the I hear decree that this healing is permanent. And if they try me again, I told God that they will remain God and God forever. They can never return back to human form. And brethren, I told you as I was meditating, God gave me the two women's name. God gave me their name, and I sorry if they if they survive the end of this year. Let them know that God is not in heaven and they did not come to DJ. Praise the Lord. What will happen to our people? Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus with our people as we welcome the word Diane. Sorry, please, uh, please, if I don't give a bad this might be, you know what will happen. God bless you. Quiet, back. Just one minute. Thank you, sir. You know yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I think, uh, I don't know where to start from. My life, the whole of my life is full of testimony. I am a living testimony. I have come to testify the goodness of God. People who are around me will testify that I am a living testimony. Where I came from, where I am going to, how I am going, it is testimony alone for himself. These testimonies are just brief to you. The day I will give testimony, it will be a full service testimony. But for today, I am giving prayer moves. I am testing the testimony to give to you. Listen and be blessed, and God bless you in Jesus' name. But I will see most of the time, I have come to judge God faithful. I have come to judge God because he is not always on transfer. God is the God that will, as he sits on the throne, he is the only man who created sleep and does not go to sleep. He is the only man who created the road 
and will not walk on the road. He flew. He will appear before you. I stumbled in a place in the Bible where he said, I will go before thee. I will make the crooked way to be straightened. My spiritual father will attest to the fact that even men who are higher than me in stature, in sizes, are fighting me. But it is only God who has given me the grace to withstand it. It is not by my power, nor by my mind. Who am I? Ten naira I don't have. But God has been faithful to me. He alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. So many testimonies. But let me start with this one. When I came to this church, I didn't know what brought me. A friend brought me here. You must hear the testimony. But let me tell you something. There is a mystery in everything that comes out from the mouth of the servant of God. There are times you will proclaim some things and I will look at them and ask myself a question. Are you really saying this to me or you're just passing a message or you're giving me an information or leave that one. But let me tell you something, child of God. I came with an ill man called a hemorrhoid. I don't know the name of the sickness. I have not noticed that before. It has been existing with me for the past like 13 years. And I don't know how to go about it because I am afraid and I'm scared of showing nurses or doctors my private. But I don't know that fateful day, the thing has overgrown inside of me that I don't know what to do. I, I explained to my friend and my friend told me, he said, you must go to operate this thing. If you don't operate it, you will die. And I asked him, I said, did God call some people and abandon them somewhere? It has never happened. It will not be in my generation. I know how many have been fighting me, but yeah, it will not happen. But like the mystery is this. The mystery of this water that you are seeing, some people are taking it carnally, some people are taking it just because of the melting. It has happened to me, it's a miracle, and it also happened to my friend. A friend I used to buy things from, from Pedwell. I went one day when he called me, he said, I am in trouble. I said, what is the problem? He called me and said, I am, I am, I am swollen. When I went to meet this young man, man, tears rushed out of my eyes. I didn't know when I was crying, and I was just looking at the young man because a man has his times two in size. And I don't know what to do. I asked him, what is, what is the problem? Where have you gone to that you, you contacted this? Is it, did you, did you leave your wife and go to somebody? Because that's a very common thing for you to think about. And the young man said, no, that they are fighting me in my shop. I said, what? In your shop? I said, yes. What are you selling that you're, they are fighting you like this? Who are you? And what do you have? According to Apostle, how much do you have that they are fighting you? And the young man said, I don't know. Let me come to confirm about it. Another person I talked to him that was buying him also called me and told me, your friend is dying. I said, dying of what? He said, look, I said, I have gone there to see him. And I came back to the church. Let me cut the long story short. I came back to church when I met Apostle. Apostle blessed. He was drinking water. He gave me a bottle of water. I dropped the bottle of water because I know what was pursuing me. No, 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 not me, the young man. I ran to the shop to buy a big bottle of water. As I came with the water, I said, what is the matter? I said, sir, father, I knelt and I said, bless this one. If I have a drum, you will bless it because there is fire on the mountain. I don't want to lose the young man. Now, the mystery is this. When you go to soak your hand in things that do not concern you, the, part of the, the end product of it is destruction. Now, I came with the water. I was actually going to ask for my debt. The young man was owing me. I was actually going to ask for my debt. When I reached his shop, the guy is times two. How will I ask for the money? And I became paralyzed. And I asked him. He said, the whole of the shop. I became a pastor. The Bible said, I have called you. I have sent you to the world. That you should go when you see the afflicted. You will lay hands on them. And then, because the hands that have laid upon his head, the head has become to be big. It has become small because Apostle, each time I want, he said, you want to give me something? I said, sir, bless me. I know what I am looking for. I know what I am looking for. I can't follow a man of God. And when I go to somewhere, and I want to discharge what he has given to me, and the things will not leave. It is an error. It is an error. When I went to the, I told the man, I said, stand up. He said, he cannot stand up. His leg is like a, a matches. I said, stand up. He said, he cannot stand up. I said, okay, if you don't want to stand up, we'll do the practical aspect of it. I went to the car. I brought the bottle of water. I, with anger, I lifted up the water up. I said, if you are God, that you are not going to transfer. Government come and government goes. You are the government that are never going to transfer. You are the government that are never going on vacation. This mystery must work. And I want to hear testimony. If not, I will not go to church again. I have taken this step a long time ago. If you do me first, I will tell God I let you go to church again. But that was not a threat. I want to see the action of the reality in that mystery. I carried the water. I prayed my prayer, the one I, I know how to pray. 
I bless the water. I poured in the shop. I poured everywhere and I came out of the shop. The young man, people were looking at me when I came and looked at the man. I poured him. One of these days I went there with Pastor Nieta. And I poured the water on him and I gave him the I drank first. Let it not be that I went to bring charm. And I gave him the remaining bottle of water. I said, drink the water. Go home and part with this remaining one. The man who is behind this thing, I give him three days. If he did not come to confess to you, we will go for his funeral. I will not go, but you follow him. You will go hell hearted and strong and go for his funeral. Beloved, as I'm standing here today, the man has deflated. He is healthy. He is strong. The mystery of the water have, have, have reduced the man to his normal size. And today, the day when I went there with the pastor, Nika, I told him, I said, this man, if you see him last month, he was times two of what you are seeing here. The man is well fed. He's an Asian, Asian man, one fat man, if you see him. But today, the whole of those power, he called me how many days ago and told me that the man that was behind him was the man close to him, shocked that the man is like him when he was sick. I said, don't pray a prayer. Don't even go to a church for him. I will also pray. I will join my faith with you and I will pray that the man, he will swear like that and get busted one day. Because wickedness is weak. Yes, wickedness. I have come to judge God faithful because he has he has seen me through. The water has delivered the man. It is true apostle that the man became well. May the name of the Lord be high as all that in Jesus' name. Amen.
victory. Let there be instant miracles right now as the one we preach. Let people be touched in a way they have never seen before. And let your name be known because of the Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Tonight is your night. Yes, sir. Who believed? I believe. Because on the last day, Jesus cried that whoever that is dust, let them come to me and I'll give them the water to bring. Today is somebody's last day. I don't know who that person, whether it is me. Who is that person now? Huh? Who is that person now? Huh? Uh, for breakthroughs, breakthroughs, as he says, say amen. Amen. Bring your pass in there, say your Lord, say amen. Amen. Bring your pass in there, say your Lord, say amen. Signs and wonder, let me know that they say, man. You are not saying, man, but let me give it to the blood to you. Yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Who is saying, man, by the way? So I check you whether what we are doing is right. Or to God suspended the brain to keep to them that he is God that is here. No one comes on. Like when I was coming yesterday from Port Harcourt, as I came to this land, I told them I said, fed the power of God. So heavy. Like uh, electricity. I'm not about to the power of God for like, electricity. Move me all over my body. I said, Something has happened there. Something has happened there. So tonight you'll be looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 to 29. I want us to be out by uh, maybe 9 20 or 9 30. Or before then. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 to 29. Wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably. We reference the calling fear. For our God is a consuming fire. We are in eternity where people go to church with chants. We are in a season where people go with diabolic means. We are in a city where people return from clubhouses, they come to church. In the name of God, we will not do them anything. But I'm, like, I'm here to announce to you that God has imparted his power in this last day. Where sinners will be crying when they come to church. Where diabolic power will met when they come to church. Where the boss in the society will give, will give, will give down to the children of God to take their place. We are in a time where the fire of God will take its own position. That's how the Bible says, shall come to on that day, that the yoke upon our name shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The Bible makes us understand again that it shall come to pass that the month of the law shall be exalted above every other mountain. And everyone, everyone that claim that they have anybody that can assist them, God assistant devils, will give back to shame. And those who embrace God will have God. Let us serve God with fear. Our God is a cosmic fire. What is the essence of a miracle of a blind eyes? Eyes being open, but you walk close, close to a fire. What a waste. You rather remain blind and go to heaven. I came here with some messages, some crazy miracles, and you said, That's how I send you. Go and preach righteousness and close. I don't know maybe because of one person that we invent these massive resources to be here. And that person will be another Georgie, another Riabonke to our generation. Why do we claim we are in church? But we pull others down for we to rise up. That's what we're looking at this evening. Why do we need the fire of God? Why do we need the fire? We are in a time like this when people will be messing up in a particular place of government. No man of God can stand and say, Stop saying that. If you say that, you will not say tomorrow. Why? Why are we not having that, that kind of territorial authority again? We are in a city where those who commit abortion are the one leading praise and worship in church. And God will refuse to come down. Because God will never receive the invitation for any sinner for him to come down. God will only receive a clap. I, I, I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. Who need to take a U-turn? Because on that last day, God will ask 
you? How do you live your life? Are you a tunnel to bring people to hell? Or are you a tunnel to bring people to heaven? I want you to know tonight that you are not born again to be a liability again. You are born again to bring people to Christ again. And if they can't find Christ through you, please let them find it through your church. Let them find it through your church. You take a blessed water now. You collect another blessed, uh, blessed charm from Calabasa. Add it to it. It can't work. That God will always bow to God. At any day, at any time. Even if you are here tonight thinking, I want to pray for a miracle, pray for a miracle job. This is the best miracle you can see. If God can win your soul to Him, God has given you land sense for breakthroughs. Proverbs chapter number 23 said, He said, when, when we turn to the Lord, the Lord will pour His Spirit upon us. Pastor is praying for you, for you to have a peace. But you are keeping Samaritan affairs outside. How will it happen? God will never be mocked. Let nobody mock God. Nobody will take the place of God. If I'm not yet to preach, somebody will be here to preach. That is why I have to say it the way I'm saying it tonight. Because I owe nobody apology. I owe God's apology. Are you hearing it tonight, everybody? You can't claim to be in church and a family click to hinder the work of God and think God will let you go free. It's not possible. Never. I've seen people like that who can't go to see how they can destroy the work of God, young brothers. But we see some of them in their honor souls. Some are just, some are die like a mad dog. Nobody can stop the move of God. If God passed through you, He wants to give you a break too. Are you hearing me, somebody? If God passed through you, He wants to give you a break too. The fire of God will never come now if sin continues to rain. Sin has to stop for God's fire to continue. And I'm here to announce to somebody here today that the grace to the position of set to God, that grace is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You are trusting God for a miracle car, but after you have gotten the car, you are using the car to take another woman to market. Your own wife, you are part your wife at home. What a lie! Don't claim because you are in Calabar, that's why you are doing that. There are every place have a territorial control, but you are the one to control your life. That's why we put this somebody let's take a new step today you come to church every little drunk drink alcohol lifting your hand 